Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Uh, let's write a fourth program. Uh, this time we'll save it to the drive, so we're going to create an actual program. They're called screens. Um, and you can um, create a screen file. Uh, if you look at the directory, there are a bunch of .blk files, and those are screen files. So those are basically different programs that, that are saved to the hard drive. And screens uh, are how we save um, programs. In order to create uh, one of these files, you put in the number of screens you want. Uh, you say uh, create file, and then you put in uh, uh, the name of the file, blk, and then it will create uh, create that file. Uh, so our, I've already uh, created one uh, that's called msi. That, be okay, so we're going to open that. If I do a one list, that'll open up screen number one. So we have in here screen numbers one through 10, and we can edit these screens. Each screen has 16 lines. Now in order to edit them, first invoke the editor. Then you can say uh, uh, comment uh, msi program count coins. And you can see that we've changed line zero. So we'll go to line two, create something called dimes. And we'll say 10 times. And uh, three uh, nickels, five times, uh, four pennies and five quarters. Okay, so now we have that. We'll create our total, 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 uh, which is, um, we need to know what the depth is. Uh, so we say depth, zero, um let's see loop no do uh plus loop that's right that's what we had so the depth oh we need a swap in there right don't we no depth nope depth zero do loop that should be good oh we want to print it okay good so that should be all the programming we need to test this out so we can say update and flush, which just sets everything and writes it to the hard drive. So it's all in there now. One list, it's all, it's all ready to go. It's saved away forever. And then if we want to run it, we say one load. And if we do words, uh, you can see that uh, total quarters, all those things exist. So if we said five nickels, 25. So that's working. So if we say uh, four nickels, one ten pennies, and three quarters total. Oops. Uh, what did we do wrong here? Uh, oh, my total must be wrong. Depth uh, zero. Oh, they do need to be in the other order. We need a little big, I think. Um, so, um, one list. Let's see. No, depth, two, loop. Hmm. That's right. Let's just, just test something out. Uh, test. Uh, zero, 10, zero, do I uh, dot loop test. Yeah, so what did I do wrong? Total is depth, zero. Oh, we need to do the minus one. That's right, one less than what we need. Okay, so one list. Okay, editor, we want to change seven. Total is depth 
one minus uh, zero do plus loop. There. There we go. That's better. All right, so update flush. One load. It's going to be a bunch of uh, duplicates, but it'll take the, the most recent one. So if we say five dimes, two quarters, three, two pennies, total, there we go, a dollar two cents. So uh, that's how we write programs in screens. Um, and we can save them away. And uh, you can have it so that you can load multiple screens or just load one screen or whatever. Um, OK, uh, let's see here. So I've already written a program on the uh, second screen. So here's a second program on the same file. And uh, we can go through this. Um, this is our um, stuff on the M side. Uh, we're going to go into hexadecimal. Our keys were the um, FF read and invert was FF swap minus. LEDs were invert, then FF, and then store. Uh, M psi is of infinite loop that's in keys, LEDs. So it reads the keys, this place on the LEDs, goes around and around and around. Um, we have LED count is one of our count programs. Uh, we're going to go from zero to FF, so display that on the LEDs until we hit a strike a key. Um, so let's just, let's just run these one by one. So we, uh, load this in. Okay. And so now we have keys. Uh, so F zero, that's because that's what the keys are right now. Um, why don't I pause here and I'll get my camera running so you can see the MSI while we're, while we're doing this. All right. So you can see the MSI there. All right. So, um, we can do, uh, keys this time. We'll, uh, add one. Uh, so we get, uh, oops. Keys, F1, all right, so that works. Um, we can uh, write to the uh, display, say, 5-5 five, five, uh, LEDs, and uh, we've written 55 to LEDs. All right, so let's uh, take a look at our count program here. LED count is from 0 to FF, around, 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 so LED count. And you can see that it's going very, very fast. We can just barely see the uh, the upper bits there. All right. And I have a key to escape. Uh, we have a delay routine that's just a simple little 255 loop. So LED count 2 is uh, the same thing as before, except we have the um, a delay in there. So now the LEDs are, are counting slower. All right, so that's how we would do that. Um, any key to get out? Oh, there, there we go. All right, then we have um, something called key delay. And what key delay is going to do is it's going to read the value of the keys, the, 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 the MSI keys, and it's going to use that value as the delay loop. So depending on what switch settings we have, we can either make the LEDs go faster or slower, depending on what we put in here. Now, you could have all the switches low, um, which is why I add one to it here, because if you have a zero, zero do loop, it's going to crash. In fact, it did when I first wrote this. So I put in the one plus. So we have read the keys, add one to it, and that's our, our, uh, our loop. And so we're going to do LED count three. LED count three is the same as before, except we're using key delay instead of delay. So uh, you can see that we're counting very fast there. And if we enter a larger value, we slow it down. So it's as fast as it'll go. Make it go a little slower, a little slower, a little slower. That's as slow as it'll go. 
So it's fun. So we can still interact with uh, still interact with the hardware uh, very quickly, right? We can do it in interpretive mode. We can do it in compiled mode, um, and uh, it's it's a nice language for for talking to hardware.